Hello from J Perry 3956 channel out here in the shop enjoying the warm weather really nice day out probably upper 80s maybe slight breeze blowing finally got to out, back out in the shop and uh, started getting things rearranged some of y'all that see my other videos will notice that the uh, mechanics toolbox is no longer right there now that's the welding equipment cutting torches uh, and my son's toolbox and we moved my toolbox over here uh, along the front of the door and that way if we need to we can uh, just swing the box out of the way and pull something in at least far enough to get out of the rain and work on it and uh, got some plywood to build my shells I started to build my sandpaper rack back there. I got a new grinder. Uh, it's a Harbor Freight grinder with Central Machine um, because this one that I got 17 years ago has finally uh, gotten so weak that uh, I can stop the thing from spinning. Uh, just about with my hands so I went and bought that bigger eight inch I'll let y'all know how it does uh, I don't usually buy a lot of electrical equipment like that that I use heavily from Harbor Freight but we'll see um, hope the fan isn't generating audio noise if it is I apologize but I'm not turning it off today you can come on around and see my wood that I got cut up from the tree uh, that uh, they fell across the street It's almost been a year, so it's probably getting pretty close to dry especially if it's not that big of pieces um, And then I got my miter station set up and this is uh, This is an experiment uh, Trying to proof a concept here. That's uh, That's rubber roofing material and uh, I just sliced it and then I turned the turned the vacuum on. I have ports back here in the back. You can see uh, the holes drilled across the back down there, and uh, it'll look it'll work a lot better when I get my uh, dust collection system set up instead of just using my uh, rigid shop vac. Okay. Anyway, we're three minutes in here, and uh, the whole reason I thought that I would do this little uh, capture and uh sent it right off to youtube to let everybody see that uh, i don't know if uh, y'all can remember there used to be this big pile just this hodgepodge uh of uh mis mismatched miscellaneous you know casters and brackets and bolts and Bolts and washers, nuts and screws, machine screws, nails, it was all mixed together and I decided today would be the day to sit down and sort all of it out and uh, put it in the drawers right here where they where they belong because it's just a case of uh, not ever having it 100% organized since we moved into this place and not putting things back where they go when we're done. So I uh, look at my drawers uh, that my wife and son uh, came out here with a labeler and helped get uh, labels on the front of some of the drawers for me. And uh, they were asking me what's in the drawers. They would take the drawer out and say, what's in here? And I would, I would tell them as I was working on something else and, uh, and uh, they would put a label on it for me. But towards the end of it, I started feeling like they were... Um, just doing just asking to aggravate because my, my son's pretty sharp out here in the shop and he knows what things are and so they showed me a drawer and they said what are these and I knew they knew I knew they knew they were machine screws okay so they labeled the drawer machine screws then they pull another drawer out and I wasn't even so sure that it was a different drawer but they said what are these I said they're more machine screws.
that's what I'm dealing with. Love them to death.